We're back with a competition. Our first competitive here in the second com competitor in the second half of the show is Howard Mortman, the national editor of Hotline. <laughs> Howard, you brought your whole family here. It's, it's, uh, that's the daily briefing website in politics published by National Journal. This month, he begins a new daily column for the hotline called Extreme Mortman, which happens to be... It happens to be his stage name. Howard has performed stand-up comedy here at the Improv. Oh, he's, he's, a, you know, he's a pro here. And his jokes have appeared in the Wall Street Journal's Washington Wire and the New York Post and the Daily News. He does comedy on America's Voice. They're not going to cheer this time. <laughs> and he's written political columny for national political figures, celebrities, and the Gridiron Club. He was a judge in the Funniest Contest last year. Now he's moved up to this event. Howard is why Hotline is such a hot sight. Howard Martin. Sorry about that. I gotta make room for my band, which is coming up here. So, sorry about that. Actually, can I ask the first 10 to 15 rolls just to move back a little bit? My band's coming up. Is, is Richard Siegel still here, by the way? Is Richard still here? Thanks for uh, blowing out the ears of the judges uh, tonight. I think they're, uh, they're, they're gonna be ringing for the next five minutes. Won't be able to hear this. Welcome to the second half of the show. Uh, it, is, uh, it is 2 a.m. and uh, this is the McGovern slot now, but uh, that's great. Welcome to the, uh, the Child Welfare League of America. It's a great cause, Child Welfare League of America. Hmm, let's see. Child welfare. It's a horrible disease. I hope we can find a cure. But uh, what, a, uh, what a great crowd out here tonight. Look at, look at all the people that sold out. Look at, look at all the pundits out here. Give yourselves a hand. All the pundits out here, wow. But wait a minute. If you are here tonight, I just have one question. Who the hell is on TV? <laughs> oh, I know, John Fund. Of course, we have a lovely group of judges here tonight, a, 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 a nearly half a dozen. You know, if things get a little slow, we can just take a break and tape a hardball segment down here. <laughs> Actually, uh, Chris Matthews, host of Hardball, was supposed to be a judge uh, here tonight. Uh, he had to pull out the last minute. There was a... Um, well, I guess I could tell you, there was a kind of a disagreement that we had. Remember how anti-Clinton uh, Chris was during impeachment? Well, he just won't give it up. You know, tonight we wanted to call him a judge. He wanted to be called a trier of fact. So it just, uh, just didn't work out. Actually, uh, now Steve Scully doesn't know this. Steve Scully, the host of uh, uh, C-SPAN's Washington Journal, is here tonight as a judge. Now, there's a problem, though, with Steve being here. If Steve's here, there's no one answering all the viewer calls that are going to Washington <laughs> Journal right now. So I've secretly arranged with the producers of C-SPAN's Washington Journal that all the calls that Steve normally would receive on air, they would come to me here on stage. So let me, if I could, uh, just set up for a second uh, to show you. I have, uh, I have uh, of course, the cell phone so I can, uh, I can answer all the viewer calls to C-SPAN. I have, um, oh good, this is here. I brought this. The uh, C-SPAN Washington Journal mug, just to make Steve feel at home as we go through this. And of course, we have one heavily highlighted newspaper here, <laughs> so the viewers at home can uh, see this. This is uh, Richmond Times Dispatch. That's all right, Steve. So let's um, let's see if there's any calls yet. Uh, if any calls that come in, let's see if uh, anything here. Our first call. <laughs> Hello, C-SPAN, Washington Journal. Can I help you? I'm sorry? Sorry, ma'am, I, I, I can't hear. Can you, yeah, can you turn your TV down? <laughs> I'm so, oh, I'm sorry, you have Chris Matthews on. Turning it down isn't going to help. <laughs> right. Boy, uh, Chris Matthews, yeah. he's, a, he's a very loud talker, but he's also a very fast talker, you know? He won this contest a couple years ago. He did 10 minutes of material in a five-minute set. <laughs> it's almost cheating. He got this, he won the award in 97, but we had to give it to him for a 98 as well. Actually, I have to be honest with you, if that's okay, about uh, me and Chris Matthews, I, um, well, I actually had a dream about Chris Matthews last night. Uh, it's because I can't afford to dream about Bill O'Reilly, so. <laughs> Let's see if there's any more, any more calls here. <clears throat> One second. Here it is right here. Hello, C-SPAN Washington Journal, can I help you? Hello? Yes, ma'am, where are you calling from? Medicare Florida, okay, that's very nice. Medicare Florida. Ma'am, I'm sorry, I can't hear. It's C-SPAN, I can't hear. 
Can you, can you turn your colostomy bag down? Oh. I'm sorry? No, yes, yes, you're... Oh, I'm sure it's a very lovely colostomy bag. I'm sure. Oh, and you have the shoes to match. Okay, that, that's nice. Boy, the, uh, the callers to these shows are so old, you know, and they talk to these pundits who are so young. Like, Tucker Carlson is here tonight, one of my favorites. Tucker is a wee bit over... Let's hear for Tucker Carlson. He's a... Tucker's just a wee bit over 30 years old, which makes him a senior citizen among pundits. You know, the, uh, he's 30 years old, which I think it's 68 in pundit years. Almost like the Keith Richards of pundits. Of course, it's great to uh, share a stage up here with Billy Bush of the, uh, the Bush family. He's here for Billy Bush, too. You know, it must be tough to be uh, uh, in, uh, a member of the family of George W. Bush right now. And you have to answer all these personal questions about Bush, you know, like, like drinking. You know, can you imagine... Let's say Bush actually becomes president. Can you imagine the inauguration? This could be like an AA meeting in there, you know? But he takes the oath of office, he raises his hand. I, George W. Bush, president of the United States. Then half the audience goes, hi, George. <laughs> of course, all the, the inauguration, all the, uh, all the empties, it's gonna look like Bud Bowl 8 in there. Those are also my uh, Christopher Hitchens jokes, by the way. <laughs> also, want to, uh, also want to salute Matt Cooper, who won this award last year. Matt, as uh, you saw, does a tremendous Al Gore impression. It's, it's real dead on. In fact, Al Gore, uh, Matt Cooper's Al Gore impression is so on target, it trails his Bill Bradley impression by 10 points. <laughs> See, I think we have another call here, Steve. Yeah, that's pretty loud. Hello, C-SPAN, Washington Journal. Yes, uh, who, uh, I'm sorry, Margaret Carlson is busy right now. Who are you looking for? Uh, Rook, I'm sorry, Roxanne Roberts is also busy. Uh, can I interest you in Jim Bohannon? Bohannon. Uh, B-O-H something, I'm not sure. Oh, you'd rather talk to Larry King? Huh. Sorry, he's not here right now. But poor Larry King. Uh, he's got, Larry King's had so many wives. You know, I, he, got, what, he got married recently. That's all right. I wasn't there, but I'll just catch the next one. <laughs> but, uh, now when Larry King gets married, when he drives away, the car doesn't say just married. It says just kidding. <laughs> Actually, Larry, uh, it's true, Larry King uh, picks his wives the same way he takes viewer calls. Roanoke, Virginia, you're next. <laughs> you have, uh, you have another call coming in? <laughs> Hello, C-SPAN, Washington Journal, can I help you? Yes, uh, what militia are you calling from? <laughs> oh, suburban Detroit. Uh, that's not, um, yeah, what, I'm sorry, what are you reading? Oh, you're reading Soldier of Fortune. <laughs> that's great. I'm, I'm sorry, sir, I'm, uh, we're getting a lot of static. Oh, I'm sorry, that's not static? Oh, that's gunfire, okay. <laughs> Those are our friends up in the uh, Michigan militia up there. It's a real crazy Michigan, of course. Uh, Minnesota's even more strange. You know, Minnesota, the official amusement park of American politics. You get the feeling that Minnesota is what, was what America would look like if Hanna-Barbera were in charge. <laughs> now, this is true. Honest to God. It's an actual Jesse Ventura action figure. Look at this. An actual Jesse Ventura action figure. You know, this is why, this is why God invented governors, isn't it? I mean, I give Jesse a break. You know, he's just trying to give something back to his fans. You know what I really feel sorry for is the Reform Party. I mean, the Reform Party is all full of celebrities. You know, remember when Clinton came in office, the first thing he said, I want a cabinet that looks like America. You know, poor Reform Party, if Jesse Ventura wins, they'd end up with a cabinet that looks like the love boat. <laughs> God, I've, I haven't seen this many celebrities in the disaster area since the towering inferno. It's not just Minnesota. Of course, New York's crazy. Hillary's running for, for Senate up there. I love when she came out and said uh, she supports the showing of dung at the Brooklyn Museum of Art. Uh, dung is art. Of course, the White House responded by granting clemency for 2,000 flushes. But, you know, I, actually, I agree with Hillary. You know, I think dung is art, you know? I mean, visit an art museum. Two million flies can't be wrong. Of course, if you're in a rush, we have an exhibit on diarrhea. If you, have, uh, if you have time to kill, if you have time to kill, look at the history of constipation. You know, I gotta be honest with you, I took a crap this morning and the, uh, the government put a velvet rope around it. it was, uh, time's almost up, we just have one more call coming in here. Let's see before we turn this back to Steve. Oh, did I get this going here? Trust me, there's a call somewhere in here. Hello, C-SPAN, Washington Journal. Uh, who's calling, please? Wow, Keanu Reeves. Keanu Reeves, wow. Uh, Keanu, where are you calling from? 
The C-SPAN school bus, wow. Oh, what's that? You gotta blow it up if they show one more week of American presidents. Okay, that's nice. Back to you, Steve. Thank you all very much, enjoy the show. Coming up now is...